they will be expressing the natural log of w to the fifth times z to the negative second all over xy plus x to the negative first power in terms of logarithms of w, x, y, and z. We'll start by separating the numerator and denominator. Since the numerator is being divided by the denominator, we can separate this by subtraction. So this becomes the natural log of w to the fifth times z to the negative second minus the natural log of xy plus x all to the negative first power. Now our first natural log will stay the same, but on our second natural log, we're going to bring down that exponent of negative one, multiplying that by the negative in front gives us plus the natural log of xy plus x. Now to separate x and y, we'll have to simplify this argument. So the first term will stay the same, the natural log of w to the fifth times z to the negative second. But in the second term, we'll factor out an x, leaving us with y plus one. Next, we'll separate all the multiplication inside of our natural logs. These can be separated by addition. So this becomes the natural log of w to the fifth plus the natural log of z to the negative second plus the natural log of x plus the natural log of y plus one. And then we'll make all of our exponents into coefficients. This gives us five times the natural log of w minus two times the natural log of z plus the natural log of x plus the natural log of y plus one. This is as simplified as we can make it, so this is our final answer.